Testing. Oh, you got the hair flowing now. Someone had some water just now. It sounded refreshing. And overtly sexual. I think I... What's the deal with Sesame Street? I think the show was made for kids. I don't know why I was birthday in my head. That very is good. very weird. I don't told you. I'm just so tired now. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the F Word Podcast, an affiliate of the Saskatchewan Podcast Network. Um, I guess it's our first time doing an ad because we have an ad to do. The oh. So the Podcast oh. Network is sponsored by Connexus Credit Union. Um, I believe it's only a... Canadian company. So for anybody that's not from Canada, this is going to be like, the fuck are you talking about, bro? But going to do it anyways. For local. Because uh, they did it. Um, I'm going to try to make these more, I'm allowed to make these, or we're allowed to make them more creative. Okay. So I'm so going to. sell out, but we can still do it. Yeah. Fun. Like, it's, <laughs> yeah. So it's more so just like, you know, they're a sponsor and stuff like that. It's. And no, it's not going to change anything on how we do the show, and we're no not going to be making any money off of it anyway. So it's really just to make sure that the sponsors stay the sponsors, so it could help the Saskatchewan Podcast Network grow. Circle I guess they're up life. to they're up to thirty podcasts on there, which is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, nice. All right, so I'm going to do the first one, and All I'm right. going to read it as into, as more as entertaining as I can. So. I'm going to adapt these uh, during the week. I'm actually going to write them out so they they pertain more to us. But this is the this is the first one. Right. The Saskatchewan Podcast Network is supported by Connexus. Does money spark joy in your life or cause you stress? If you said stress, you're not alone. For 42% of Canadians, their biggest stressor comes from money. At Connexus, they care about your financial well-being. Money doesn't have to be stressful, and Connexus is here to help. The Connexus Hashtag Money Talk blog provides expert advice, tips, and solutions for all life stages and events. Getting married, buying a house, budgeting, saving. They cover it all and more. And did I mention it's free? Check it out today at ConnexusMoneyTalk.ca and start feeling confident and stress-free about your money. So yeah, thank you Connexus for being a sponsor. could barely tell I was an ad. Cool, cool. Almost couldn't tell. <laughs> just so natural. It just feels like that's a conversation we always bring up at the start of the show. Yeah. 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 This almost co- Actually, this would have coincided perfectly when we talked about what to do after you graduate school. Because, mm. um, you, you know, getting your money and life in order and all that stuff. And you think you've accomplished something, which you did. But then it's all of a sudden it's like, now what? Yeah, and man. then you accomplish something. Like, you've graduated from university and you're like, now what? And then you're like, it's just a series of now what's. So... And then what? And then what? Yeah, they've got a bunch. Like, there's like five he sent me. Primarily, there's like the core stuff that they want to add. But um, yeah, I'm gonna mess around with it. Maybe write some other scripts so to like be more five F-word. weeks of ads, or is that like? No, 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 it's just every episode. Okay, so we'll just drop an ad. One? Yeah, you, you, I can pick one. Of, I can pick one of the. He came, oh, sent okay. me seven, so I can pick one of the seven, so I can change it. Like I, I did a number one, and then you know just rotate, or again come up with our own. And as long as I stick to the guidelines, then uh, everything's copacetic. Fair enough. So, you yeah. You to play. You got to pay to play. No, it took us two years to sell out. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Without a dime. We're the worst sellouts we ever. we two years by now? I think so. No. Uh, well, okay. Closer to August. Last year, well, this is episode 57. So, we've been going 57. Actually, technically, it's 67 on Anchor. So, we've been going 67 weeks or at least 60 weeks right now on Anchor which is a lot longer than I thought we were. And then we started the podcast, I think, a week or two weeks before Spider-Man Homecoming came out because that was our oh, first yes. review. So it's been a minute. It's been a while. So then it would have been past two years. Already, yeah. Let's yeah. See. I'm going to go on YouTube right now. Okay. But everyone else, thank you for joining us. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I hope you're having a wonderful whatever and whenever you're listening to us. I am your host, G, and with me today is... Anthony. And? Vass. <gasps> and Nick's going to come back one day. He actually looked at me in the eye the other day, and he's like, 
I like I'm, I want to come back on. But again, he's got one baby, he's got a pregnant wife, and he's got another one on the go because of the pregnant wife. There you go. So I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna uh, his so, mistress also. <laughs> yeah. His no. His his life is uh, <laughs> to say it's hectic is a little oh, bit of an understatement, man. and the fact that it's going to get more hectic yeah. is also an understatement. So fun trivia. So we'll always always remember. Okay. Canada Day we started. July 1st. Oh. July 1st of 2017? Yes. Wow. As we well, go I'm, you guys on. Started, I'm fairly new. Yeah, you... Um, you're the ultimate. You're Michael. Got, like, what? You, no. so you're the, on? You're on. You're the okay. second string player who just yeah. weaseled his way to first string. Mostly no, because I, mo- mostly, mostly I had needed I was to on your guys' tempo, okay? That's how it worked out. It all started with the one that... Um, the one episode you and I just did in uh, Saskatoon. Uh, we were in dive. the deep dive. We did. Yeah. We wanted to come on for a while to do Game of Thrones reviews. Or we were talking about doing it. Every single okay. So <laughs> if, if if anyone ever wants to go back and listen to our first ones, I don't know why. I don't even know where you can find them. I don't know YouTube. if there's, but are, no, I, do I upload those onto YouTube? Oh yeah, that's how I found it. Dude. Oh, then you can go all the way back to the YouTube archives and look at our first ones, and you can just listen to it and be like, a these guys had no idea what they're doing. B these guys had no voice whatsoever. And and C, they kept mentioning a Game of Thrones recap that never actually happened. Every single episode, I was like, well, next week, maybe we'll do a full breakdown. No, no, that didn't happen. Not at all. To be fair, the season You're eight ones. You're welcome. <laughs> the season eight ones were, if we were going to do a whole series recap, eight would be the run to do. I don't know how many fucking episodes we would need, because the amount of detail we went into was season eight. I'd be down for a deep dive on that one. Go recap on every season single eight? season. Each season I, will I be will a deep dive. Be able to, yeah, I will not be able to compete. No, or even like keep up with that conversation. You'd be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. I understand that reference. <laughs> I would also be in that boat because, like, my memory just—I I remember little piece, be, little piece, mm-hmm. pieces, bits and pieces. But unless someone actually references it, and all of a sudden that little part of my brain's like, mm-hmm. "Oh yeah, here I know this," I will have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, what do you mean? I I barely got the name straight half the time. Yeah, no, I still don't even know all the names. Oberin, Toberin, Bloberin. Shobrin, like people are dying Martel, eight, Tyrell, like, Shirel, I know them, I don't know Shia them. LaBeouf. I wish. Mm-hmm. Shia, I wonder what if I wonder what Shia LaBeouf would be like if he was in Game of Thrones. If someone was dying, I honestly like, think he'd be part of the Iron Island. What's her name? You think so? Hey, I don't know why. Does he have that vibe? I mean, he's got the vibe. That's not a song. Um, I shouted out Ethan last week. He listened to an episode and he said thanks for the shout out. And he also reminded me that I said Harper instead of Hopper. For Stranger oh, Things, yeah. so I think another shout out. Same boat. I think I noticed that too, but no one said anything. Come it's on, it's Harper Hopper. Well, I wasn't gonna like cut. I, wasn't I call said you Harper. You, 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 to, correct, you correct yourself after, which was did I? different. Which I didn't understand. Well, I here's another shout out, Ethan, because you corrected me that a fact that I said Harper, not Hopper. I also because, finished it. Mm, Such a good season. So good. Like, fuck me. Such and a great. I'm not gonna spoil it, but like, fuck. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's really weird. I, yeah, I don't know how it works with Netflix. Because anybody can see the whole thing at any, yeah, pretty no, much any given time. So I don't know how the spoilers really like work. A month. You think a month? Well, I took, do you like, treat it the same way as movies? Uh, I would, because honestly, like myself watching that show, I didn't watch it for the first week. Like it took me a week to actually start it. Mm-hmm. So like I'm not gonna be a dick. I understand people are busy or just don't want to like. Because I want to watch it where I knew I had time to watch it. Because I didn't like yeah. watching shows. You know, I don't do anything during the day, or I didn't like last week. Now I have a gym membership, and I start doing that shit. But I don't like watching TV during the day. Or actually, like actual series during the day, like the Brooklyn Nine Nine. If I eat food or whatever, that's nine, fine. Nine. But I want if I want to watch an actual show, like I want to watch at night. Just I don't know. That's just how I am. The one that you're gonna pay attention to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The one that you're gonna light some candles, put on a bath, yeah, and you know, just, just have like, in the background. Make a premiere out of it. You know, like enjoy yourself. Make your own premiere. Exactly. Like roll out an actual mm-hmm. red carpet and like just have a bunch of like cutouts. Go to the mall and steal all the cutouts they have, and then. <laughs> And then put fake cameras on all of them and make it look like you're going to your own premiere this of a gonna, show this, you're not in. I feel like somebody walked in and saw me with a bunch of cup uh, cup boards and uh, cameras on them. It would give the wrong vibe, though. For yeah. sure, it would. It'd be hilarious too. Speaking I of hilarious, I, I watched uh, Aziz Ansari's uh, "Right oh. Here," I believe is called. Is that new? It's his new stand-up. Oh, okay, and it's it's a lot more heartfelt than the other one, obviously because he went through some shit. Yeah, um, I feel I feel like comedian. But he had a really good doing that now. Like Ken Jong did it, man. Everyone's fucking going after everybody. Who cares? No, it's a good thing. No, well, I'm, just, I'm just saying not no, that they're going after them. No, no, no. I'm oh, just, that they're I'm, coming back. No, comedians are having the more. It's more less about the the jokes come from their own life experiences, but they're also putting in their their actual life troubles and and problems that they have. Like Ken Jong did it. It's like a more Chappelle, serious. But they always do it. Not necessarily. Some of them are straight up. 
like okay, anything from Russell Peters for me, it's more like he's making a joke about everything, right? It's not like, but it's still perfect. based on his own experience. Like he talks about the his culture be, that he's lived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's that many. Like Jerry Seinfeld is one of the ones that more not slapstick. That's not the right way because he pulls from things that he sees. They all pull yeah, from their yeah. own lives. I yeah, think I this guess, is just this is just more of like he's back now and. Yeah. He's trying to put his career back. Let's just say that it's more like there's a feelings hour involved with all their the stand up comedies. Like I noticed with Kevin Hart's recent one. Uh, again, yes, they pull from their life experiences, but when they but go like more serious, more serious yeah. at moments. Chappelle's both of his were very funny, but he was talking political and he was talking his own personal life stuff. So that got heavy a few times with him, right? So that's how I see it. But mm-hmm. I see how Z's is doing kind of the same thing, following suit. Yeah, it's not it's, a bad thing. It's a good thing. Well, it it's a it's bad that it had to come to that. Yeah. Over something that nobody knows what actually happened. I didn't I didn't look too much into I it, but I don't know. Like it's it's just unfortunate that oh, this Oh, the is, allegations thing. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. but I don't the know the, allegation. I don't know the He was he, he was It was something to do with a date that he went on yeah. and there was a miscommunication. I bet you if if he did the same thing six years ago, no one would even say anything, but I think everyone's super hypersensitive. Oh, yeah. And so people would say something. Now, 20, it's 15, 16 years later. Yeah, it's it's just, <laughs> but for me, I think it's just, I don't know. It's it's just unfortunate that it went to that point. Yeah. So, and and yeah, you're watching, true. you're listening and watching to him and he was a lot more soft-spoken. He wasn't totally out there like he normally is. And it's just kind of like, I don't know. I just, I think he's just going to come back with a force and I really hope he does because, you know, it's super shitty if you do something that like you, you legitimately don't know what the rules are and someone slapping you over the face. It's like getting arrested for a law that no one has put in place. And it's like, well, this is just a law that I have now. And me and my fr- five friends think that this is the way that it's supposed to be, so mm-hmm. we're going to reprimand you for it. It's like, come on, man. Like, The one Jesus. thing, like before, like I don't get too much into the Me Too thing, but the thing I found very interesting about it is that there are lots of allegations that we actually covered on the show. Yes. Like, I remember Stan Lee, yep. Sylvester Stallone. Yep. And, like, they haven't even brought back, like, even to say that they were false, to even say that mm. they were true. Like, nobody talked. They just got dropped, which I found kind of, like, weird. Well, what happens You is, can assume it's false if it's not yeah. true, you know, in a sense of being guilty. But. Do you know what the worst part of all of it is? And I think I mentioned on the show before. All of these bullshit allegations are getting in the way of the real things mm-hmm. and clouding the real allegations that are mm-hmm. going out there. That's That, to me, is the number one thing. Because it's not because a bad it's, movement. It's just the false ones. What, or what of course. Makes it a bad it's it's when people take it and weaponize it and start point and start mm-hmm. advocating for people that didn't even ask for it. A and B may not feel the same way as the person that's wielding this thing. Like the the one I don't know person that had nothing to do with anything and decides to take this information and turn it into their own Smoking crusade. Ears. You know. Smoking ears. Um, but after that, though, after the Aziz thing, which I highly recommend everybody watch, uh, I was rewatched Master of None, which I was like, damn, this is a really good show. I don't think I ever finished the second season. I think I'm on like, the last episode. See, I was so waiting good. for the second season, and I think I, f- I didn't you realize it came on. watched most of it the other day when you came over. How much many more episodes were left? <laughs> like three. Oh, shit. Well, it's like ten that. episodes. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, yeah. It's really short, though. It is short. Mm-hmm. They're short, relatively long episodes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, what do we want to get to? Some serious stuff? Do you want to get into some trailers? Do you guys want to get into some uh, random news? some decent seriousness. I feel like we could come back to it. Yeah. Sure. Um, does anyone give a flying fuck that the Power Rangers reboot is rebooting with a new cast? No. No. <laughs> I think they should. Ah! I got to be the one. Serious. Listen, I didn't mind it that bad. I would have enjoyed I love, sequel. honestly, man, I like Power Rangers from... We used to watch it yeah, was it was time. our generation exactly. Totally, so totally. I was very excited that they brought it back with new technology and new ways to do it, and they already hinted and set up the next one. So to redo it again, a new cast altogether. Yeah, I'm like, man. I thought it was a solid cast. I honestly did. Yeah, I didn't mind it. I think it was just the dialogue kind of fell flat, and maybe the story could have I been feel done like, a little bit did better. Did they release but... it next to something that was like really big though, and that's why I it like didn't think, do very well? I think well. that's one of the reasons. Also, it, yeah, it wasn't well received. Mm-hmm. Maybe again, some of the dialogue maybe fell flat. I can't remember exactly. I personally enjoyed it just as it got me excited. It's a Transformers the movie. You just watch it just to have fun, like you well, basically. I think what they they faltered on was that there was very little Power Rangers in this Power Rangers movie. Well, there was so yeah. much. Like, if you take the amount of time they're actually in, which I get super expensive. What's up, Arturo? Um, 
I think if you take the amount of time that they were actually in the suits, and I know that it's expensive to have them in the suits, do mm-hmm. all that CGI, I totally get that. But I mean, it it was very is a very little bit of Power Rangers. And when it happened in the end, like when the music kicked in, I got it was like, oh shit! It's my but jam. again, it was origins. They're getting their groove on. There, of course, it's not going to be that much no. Ranger time kind of thing. So I, I totally get it. I think it worked with the story that they gave us. So I'm not saying that that was a factor in my opinion. That's because you like everything. You're no, so... it's I can be analytical too. It's not that I like everything. I can have my opinion about it, but again, I don't dissect it and yeah, no, it destroy it. So, but they already set it up with the with a good cast to reboot it again. Why? Mm-hmm. I would just say, okay, if if someone else like more wants to say like investments, well, if a, like if a writer it. comes along and the director comes along and says, hey, I want to I want to do the sequel to this, mm-hmm. or work with the guy who did the original, if, or talk to him at least and say like, or go to the producers, who knows, the studio, whoever can have the power to tell him like, we're gonna give it to this guy to give it, take the helm and see what he can do with it. And then they can change it up from there. But to do a reboot after a reboot, you're just, I just can't, it. like I know I assume there has to be one, but I can't look at Fantastic Four. I can't call <laughs> I can't recall a single like film that didn't go for at least one more sequel after it was kinda of, like yeah. critically and like and then reboot it. I feel like it's a weird thing to have one and then reboot again. Yeah, oh, even Spider-Man and to say I that guess. actually Power Rangers didn't do very well domestically, but overseas, I think it did very well. Sure. Well, Japan. Um, I love it. All these <laughs> Arturo, we covered uh, Aziz's new stand-up special on Netflix, and now we're talking about the Power Rangers reboot. Reboot. Actually, oh, reboot would be Teenage dope. Ninja Turtles movie. <laughs> oh fuck! I don't know, man. I feel like that has to be coming out soon. I really hope it doesn't. Uh, I love the Turtles. Transformers uh, crossover with TMNT. Never. Actually, there's the there's the cartoon, only. the Batman one that already came out. The cartoon and the comic. Yeah. Well, there's a movie coming out too, isn't there? Of what? The Batman and. TMT. Well, that's yeah. animated, that yeah. Animated. It's already out. I think, yeah, it's already that's out. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't want that to happen. Taika Waititi coming back for Thor 4 and Alita Battlestar? Battle something? Battle Angel. Battle, Battle Angel is so, on hold. Oh. So I'm sorry for all you Alita you, fans. Are you out? No, Alita Battle Angel just came out, the the first one. And I went and saw that. I can't remember if we did, if, you, if I reviewed it here oh, or not. there's a new It trailer. No, we didn't. What? Keep talking. Keep talking. I've seen yeah. this. The I I honestly, Alita Battle Angel was really great up until the end when we didn't see the final battle that we needed to see. It's like they cut it out. Like why? Everything else about it was like why? It the story kind of fell flat because of that, and then just ruined the whole thing. The way they set it up and built it up it was just like wait, which all movie? that was for nothing. Alita, Alita battle, battle Angel. You watched it? Yeah, because Taika is now attached to it. This the I think the um, the graphics and the way they did everything was good. It's just that that story fell flat right at the end. Did you say Akira? Really... Is it no. Akira? Oh. oh, oh, is it Akira? Maybe Akira. Akira is on oh, hold. Akira it. isn't. Wait, no, isn't Akira already ah, out? Ah, there you go. I totally so, got. Yeah, I, think, yeah, I, it's I have Akira. your Alita. But... Never mind. Well, that just changes everything now. You just talked and wasted everyone's time. Well, to be fair, you did on set false up for information. It. Yeah. yeah. Well, jeez. I thought you'd learn from me and not go on your tangents. Oh my god! Um, more of you. Yeah. It was more of you. <laughs> Did you watch the trailer? Yes. Was it good? Yeah, it's weird because it's. The I final, haven't seen it. So. It's the final trailer, and I don't recall seeing another trailer because I obviously like I don't watch trailers. But there was the even, one we saw before. Was it okay? I remember seeing one. Yeah, one. I remember seeing the. Was only two trailers for for it. it. Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. You mean good for they're, it? They're good already- for it. <laughs> They it's just uh, so confusing saying good yeah, because because already they had final trailer. I'm like final trailer. I'm like when was it's the like first a one? Month isn't it? Like two months away. I thought there was like the teaser. Uh, and something that's like it. that. Yeah. No, I'm excited though. The trailer it looked looks like it didn't give away anything. That's it just a kind of quick gave away turnaround scenes. from the from the first re reboot. I think they shot thing. like right after they yeah. must have. And the fact that they got the green has light it been a year, or two years, two years. Oh, it's two years already. Yeah, we did because Nick was a pussy and didn't want to see it with us. He's not a scary movie guy. Speaking of which, Quiet Place is getting shot the second. Oh yeah, second Quiet Place. So I'm super excited for that. But, but yeah, yeah, does it is it better than the last trailer? Was it good at least? Uh, <laughs> I don't really remember the last trailer, but I liked it how they kind of showcased the kids and their adult counterparts. Mm-hmm. Because aside from the black kid, it's kind of hard to understand which one's the adult. I don't know. It was a bad joke, but still, I don't know. <laughs> I, I haven't seen <laughs> or the, the first, girl, <laughs> so I haven't seen the original it. Mm-hmm. Which was a kill and watch it after. Just it's not that. It's not. Tim it doesn't Curry. hold up. Steph, uh, not is it Tim Curry? Tim Curry. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't. I feel like it wouldn't Steph hold Curry. up. No, the basketball player. It doesn't hold up. I feel like it wouldn't hold up. But I didn't want to go into 
like it with the original and be like, oh, well, I'm comparing everything to the original film. Yeah. Not but the, I'm excited. The first one. And the original ties into this? No. Or it's completely separate? This no. is all reboot. This is a reboot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. You know, I'm excited. Good reboot. There's also a horror movie coming out called Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Oh, yeah. Have you guys read that book as kids? No. no. I read it as a kid, and it's actually, I don't know, if it's an actual horror movie, not like TV. I just remember the PG-14. Goosebumps. Goosebumps was Goosebumps, dope. and then the yeah, Are You Afraid of the Dark. That show was pretty cool. Yeah. That show was scary. I remember that show. It was. That, that intro was scarier than the show. Yeah, basically. But yeah, no, there's a lot of horror films coming out this year I'm excited for. Hmm. I don't know this year, maybe just next year. Yeah. No Slender Man's coming out. It already came out. Who cares about Slender Man? I don't know. I'm just still like... Didn't it come out and bomb already? It, it bombed. I remember it did come out. <laughs> I'm talking to Bell about it and he said it sucked. Um, I guess we can go on the trailer train. Trailer train. Trailer train. Okay. Trailer train. Trailer train. So Top Gun sequel. This is an actual That's literally sequel. the first one. Yeah. Okay. I still haven't seen the first one. I, I can't remember. I remember seeing the full one way back when and then since then... like the full one? The first the full one. movie. The first one full. Oh, okay. In like uh, the first one proper. Yes, proper. So and the then uh, the rest of the time is like if you catch it on TV, you call like bits and pieces. Yeah. That's it. And <clears> you, st- it's one of those movies where you just yeah. stop and watch. Mm-hmm. So did Tom Cruise learn how to fly a jet for this film? No, he already. Oh, fuck! I don't know. Probably. You know what? This time around, he probably because it looked. I don't like, know. I don't know if the, he actually. The shots did. looked very clean, and I was reading comments, and people were saying, "Did he actually learn how to fly?" For I would jet? not be surprised. And no yeah. one had a definitive answer. Yeah, probably from the first one he definitely didn't, but this one he the, probably would. I don't know if they would let him because they're so expensive, but I yeah, think but he it, can do whatever he wants. I now. think it, I think that <laughs> Scientology money will just get him whatever. Well, it's not even that. The studios love him, and with even the Mission yeah, Impossible series, you may, they like, may love him. He will do. They're not going to fork wants. over like millions and millions of dollars just so he can learn how to fly a fucking. But if they plane. wanted to, if that was the make or break to make this movie, yeah. like they can't make it without him. I feel like he's the main character, is he not? Of the well, first yeah, one? basically. Yeah, like, it's all I, about I him. think I think this sequel didn't need to happen. It doesn't need to happen, and the first one is just a wonderful movie. I really, really like it. Um, and that trailer, it's weird because Tom Cruise is old Tom Cruise now, and he looks like old Tom Cruise. In almost everything that he does, yeah. So that when he showed up on screen, and for some reason they had Ed Harris there, and it yeah. didn't have their their other dude, um, it was just like, oh, it's just Mission Impossible Tom Cruise with the same face and the same smirk. I I didn't I didn't feel Maverick oozing out of that uh, off the screen. Is this weird watching him like wear the jacket like the bomber? So uh, such a great bomber. Mm. It's it's a nice jacket. This looks weird. Because he's so old, and it kind of seems like that, like old dad trying to fit in with his kids and just kind of like do all these hip <laughs> things, wearing the aviators and shit. That's, that's probably not the what, worst analysis I've ever heard. That's, that's probably what it's going to be premised around for the most part. I imagine it'll be way. like that stupid Triple X uh, Return of Xander Cage movie. Hey, that was a great movie. Shut <laughs> your mouth. That whole movie was Vin Diesel getting jerked off by himself <laughs> and by the original film that. Some people liked and didn't warrant a sequel, but he just wanted to because of that fast hey man, and furious money. Ice Cube showed up. Yeah, <laughs> and that one was stupid. There was like they made they made that movie out to be like the first movie was just <clears throat> this massive, massive hit that everybody adored and has been waiting for. So it was like this <laughs> this comeback tour, and like it was so dumb. It was terrible. Soph and I caught it in Italy. And we were watching it with like it. It had the subtitles in there, but yeah. it was uh, the audio was in English, and she had never seen it before. And it was our last night in Italy, and it was just super funny because of how stupid it was. Mm-hmm. And it's just like just building him up to this character that he never was for a premise for a movie that would never. Not that it would never. Of course, it would never happen. But it was just like I don't know. He's like you weren't that cool. Stop pretending you were <laughs> that cool back then. It's like the quarterback from high school that comes back yeah. ten years to do all this stupid. Honestly, shit. and everyone's like. Dude, you made one touchdown. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> like, no one cares anymore. Get out of here, Jeffrey. And if your name is Jeffrey, I apologize. Anyway, well, so that's Top Gun. All Jeffrey's, our whole yeah. audience goes down. Pretty much. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so the, that trailer did nothing for me. The music was on point, though. Do they have yeah. Danger Zone? It's Oh, it's going to be in there. But they didn't have it in the trailer. They had the... Uh, that's they had why I know so much. Archer. I, that just triggered a fucking... I forgot what that Kenny show was Loggins. entirely. Candy Loggins. All about it. <laughs> all about it. Lana. Yeah. Lana, what? That should be interesting. Danger Zone. That show's dead. What? Archer's dead? Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck. I've, I completely yeah. forgot about that show. I started watching the latest season that came on, and it's just mm. it's gone so off the rails yeah, that it's, so it's just... Weird. He's, yeah, it's I, not holding up anymore. There's no, like... 
the realism is really off. Well, the realism doesn't have to be there. It's a yeah, but still, like, it was more fun when it was like an the, actual modern. And that was like Call of Duty, where they're going fucking everywhere. And, like, well, it wasn't necessarily <laughs> modern, wasn't it? Wasn't it set in like a certain time period? Well, okay, the original. Yeah, was probably set during like what's the two thousands. That office is exactly like Mad Men. So my guess is they saw Mad Men, they saw Don Draper. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this is true. I haven't actually read up on this, but after <clears> watching <throat> Mad Men, I'm like, oh, that's the Archer office. Yeah. To Archer fans, it's the Mad, Mad Men, Men office, office. Yeah. or Mad Men fans, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's got that Don Draper look yeah. to him and everything mm-hmm. like that. And it, I think it was, it was so new and it was so it was a little bit more grounded in a weird way to put it. And then yeah. now it's just gone like they've gone back in time, they've gone forward. They're now well, he's in, in a jungle. Coma. That's what I like. He's in a coma still, isn't he? Is he? Uh, so I'm pretty sure he got shot. Uh, yeah. And then he's in Maybe. a coma, and that's like he's dreaming all this shit's happening. Yeah. Don't mention my wake up. There you go. I haven't called Soflana in a long time. I think I need to do that right now. Um, the Jane Silent Bob trailer. Anybody care about that? I, did I never even saw it. I watch it. I I wasn't the mass a biggest fan of Jane Silent Bob Strikes oh, Back. So it. this that, this uh, new one is just not gonna like. Turn off your brain kind of comedy. It's funny. I like that Kevin Smith was like, he's like, I'm literally just doing fan service in this movie for the people that like the first one. And I'm like, all the power to you, man. (coughs) If you're a fan of like Jane, Silent Bob or Clerks, any of that kind of stuff. You're not watching. See, I like Clerks. Obviously, the first one was really good. The second one, I I coincide with a lot of it. I I liked it better than most people. Yeah. Um, Jane, Silent Bob, the first movie had some funny moments. Mm -hmm. And then I, I didn't really care for Mall Rats. I'm sorry. You don't like more rats, eh? No, never seen. No, it. it's pretty good. I didn't the like first it. Clerks is still my favorite of yeah. his stuff. Um, Kingsman prequel. Oh, I just see that one. Amazing. Yes. That was uh, Galahad, right? I don't know. A that's, young Galahad. That's set like what is that? World War One. One. I is it one? That can't be one. Galahad. Yeah, it wouldn't be Galahad. All I know I is I don't that know who that might be. It was super dark, super realistic, like more realistic. Yeah. It wasn't as comic booky. We'll put no it that laser. Way. Or no yeah. uh, well, lightsaber fucking lassos. Well, I mean yeah. the the technology of the time, right? Mm-hmm. But it just felt it felt super like a little bit gritty. It had a bit of Very a Wonder much. Woman feel. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. I, well, with like the war scenes and him running. But when he got blasted I love, through the wall, I that, love that Ralph Fiennes is in it. Yeah, Ralph Fiennes is amazing. <laughs> but when he blasted backwards through the wall, it kind of reminded me of when Wonder Woman burst out of the wall when she ripped shit in that tower up there yeah, and she yeah. ran on the roof. One of my favorite comments from reading the YouTube comments Ow. with the trailer was, uh, my fucking self I watched this and got excited, thinking it was a Kingsman movie, mm. but then I realized it wasn't, and then I realized at the very end it was a Kingsman movie, but it was a prequel. Very yeah. good. It's smart that they're going prequel. Yeah. I did not care for that the sequel no. yeah. at all. I didn't yeah, like it. It was whatever. I didn't like that they they killed off a lot of characters. And then they brought them back, though, didn't they? No. Galahad Only should have one. come back. Oh, well. They all, for the original, yeah, Galahad was dead in the first one, and he, he should have stayed, stayed dead. dead. But then he ki- they killed off like Merlin, the uh, and then Lancelot. Knew the chick was yeah. pretty good; like she could have carried on another. Story. I think what, this is what this is the problem I had with Kingsman too. Yeah, I had the opposite effect of what happened was it was it was almost similar to Xander Cage movie. Yeah, where it's like in this case, you didn't wait long enough for us to care about all the yeah. hey, remember this from the first one games that they do yeah just like xander cage was so long that no one gave a flying fuck even three two years after because it was one of those movies like it, it happened we're not holding on to it right yeah and they're trying to be like hey remember this and this and he's so cool and we're making him out to be this really great guy in this one it's like the movie came out two years ago and now you're doing your coming back. Hey, remember this and this and this. It's like no, like build upon the story. Don't just go back and try to show us things we already know. Like you haven't been gone that long yeah. for us to really give a shit. After watching the trailer, though, I did want to rewatch both movies because I don't yeah. remember what exactly oh, I, what happened. The I second re-watched. one, I don't remember at all what happened. I just now remember that they had the U.S. Yeah. branch with mm-hmm. oh, the guy right. from Twenty One Jump Street, Ch- Channing Tatum. Yeah, Channing, yeah. and like the Channing first Tatum. one, I the remember Statesman. and Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal. And then I remember uh, Samuel L. Jackson yeah, was a villain, and he had a lisp. Yeah. yeah. The first one was so good. I rewatched it th- four months ago when I was working out of town. Yeah. I brought the. Yeah, I brought my laptop, and you had that external hard drive with a bunch of old movies that we had bought and put them onto this external hard drive. Very good. And then uh, Kingsman was one of them. I was like, fuck, this was such a hey, fun John movie. John Wick three just appeared on one of those hard drives, so I'm gonna have to watch it now. Oh, in good quality. Oh, by the way, completely random. Don't use the fucking face app. Stop yeah, making had, yourselves look not. old. <laughs> I did. <No>. <laughs> yeah, you and did. I deleted it. And not only that, 
they the now Russians have are the one that are, are like they, there's reports coming out that there are Russians that have now your face and your identity. So not to scare you, Vasily, but all I'm gonna say care. is there was a terms and condition that gave yeah. them full access to whatever they wanted with your face yeah, and your that. likeliness. And that's it's done. That's yeah. okay. Let them have it. <laughs> oh man, I've not done it though. Not it that sucks I have. Like, that we can't I don't have even have high. Nice. Well, and that could be. Is it true? Is it just no? I'm pretty tactic? sure after so know. much, it's true. But think about it. Hello. How quickly in like 24 hours did that thing like blow up? And now well, of everyone's course. faces out there. Well, it doesn't matter. I use Apple. I, I use the Apple face thing, so it doesn't. My face is already there. People there are go. bored, man. And that's basically it's like. I don't want have to. it. I don't care. I what are you going to do with it? Thumbprint, even though that's not any better, but still, yeah. well, they're like, nope, you have to use your face. Yeah, I don't fuck with any of that shit anymore. I have no need for them. Like Snapchat, I never use anymore. Yeah. Um. What other? Do we have any other trailers? So we're all on board Luke. for. Okay, Top Gun, Luke. Meh, Jane, Simon, Bob. Who cares? It. You're excited mm-hmm. for. Um. 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 Kingsman. Um, Kingsman. We're, Kingsman. We're yes. we're enjoying. We're mm-hmm. like excited for. Right. Yes. Trailers. What was that? What was the tank saying? Talking tra- trailers. Trailer time. Trailer yeah. time. Is it trailer time? I have no idea. You I hope it's. It. I hope it's trailer time because that you is definitely going to be the title of this episode. <laughs> Already, that's a. Um. I'm gonna leave that one to last. <laughs> I'll leave though? that one to last. I think so. I think trailer time's a good one. It's still early. Let's, uh, <laughs> yeah. let's, let's just keep going. <laughs> Listen, man, I don't have well, much time. We've got 30 time. minutes to make a title. It's okay. I don't yeah, have yeah. much time to put. You know how long it takes me to try to figure up a title, especially when we haven't come up with like, a little catchphrase? I hope you. Uh, Edward Furlong is coming back into Terminator Dark Fate. They're bringing everybody from Sounds the so beloved edgy. one. Yeah. And he's the original John Connor, by yeah. the way, yeah. from Terminator 2. Two. Yeah, he is. That's good. I think they're are they retconning everything after Judgment Day, basically? Or I think so. I think if you're to look at the canon of the entire thing, it's like Terminator, Terminator Judgment Day, and then maybe Dark Fate. So this is almost as confusing. Maybe not as a Judgment Halloween timeline. I maybe not Judgment Day, but uh the third one. No. Is Linda Hamilton in that one? No. I don't think so. She's I, in I mean, Judgment Day though. That was okay, that's well, my I, personal. As far as favorite. we know, Judgment Day she was like the Terminator was done. Well, he, yeah, he gave thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yeah, he and died. then the one with Amelia Clark Somehow wasn't came great, back. and she, that was old man Arnold. So it's a good thing that that continues. Maybe I don't know. I really don't. I don't know either. All I know is that it's an old Arnold. Mm-hmm. Um, Arnold living with Lyndall Hamilton and playing house, playing house, and then Edward Furlong's into the fray. So my guess is he's would have done the same. He's I bet you he's following in the footsteps of his mom and then he'll come back and he'll be this hardened badass that has dealt with a bunch of stuff. Well, they probably have to wait a certain amount of time so this guy could be the right age in order to even consider yeah, bringing him really back. I really don't think that had anything to do with anything. No, probably not, think but I think it's a happen, well, happenstance. <laughs> people, people aren't that excited about this movie. No. Let's add one more character back into the fold. And hopefully generate some more enjoyment for it. Guess we'll see. That's my Time guess. Tell. I'm getting wise to these uh, <clears throat> these, these Hollywood types. Mm. Uh, you mentioned Stranger Things before. It's ending after season four. Oh, that oh. was a rhyme. They confirmed Unintentional. it. I believe so. They they said, said, I, I found it on uh, four different publications. Well, they said so. four or five seasons. They said that two seasons ago. Is that what they said? Yeah, well, right so. now, the last one I saw it said after season four. I think that was on Cinema Blender IGN, one of the two. Or PlayStation News, I'm not sure. Why mm-hmm. PlayStation News? Because it came up on my Facebook feed and I clicked well, on it. Would and I was PlayStation like, News be posting about Netflix? Because they post Talk about everything. Ooh, Netflix no. has taken a huge hit, by the way. Really? So, wow. like, well, they're... Office and Friends. Oh, not yeah. all, no, no, no. Like, so other companies are purging the favorite shows that people like on Netflix. They've increased their subscription to like 13 bucks an hour, or 13 bucks an hour, 13 dollars a month for mm-hmm. uh, I think the states, but possibly here. I'm pretty sure yeah. they're losing this is the first year that they since in first year in 10 years they've said that they've lost that they're losing every month or they have lost in the past few months <laughs> subscribers significant amounts so, and now it's been well it's gonna if it keeps going on this way it'll be just be a significant amount of i think we people. talked about it last time how the netflix interface is still one of the best so yeah. there'll be a few core people that'll always stay on i myself will probably always stay on there well, I like Unless, the originals. Like, I think they're yeah. going to still pumping out originals that I'm going to like. Yeah. I just think them increasing their and they've acquired some stuff. shows that got canceled. Like Lucifer's one of them. Mm-hmm. No, I know, but I get that. 
What I'm saying, though, is that this is a big deal because you've got Disney Plus, you've got HBO Max, you've got all these other things that are coming in and yeah. literally bursting down the door, walking over to the table and taking their lamp back. Mm-hmm. And maybe that table really needed that lamp to finish the room. Maybe there's a glass jar with a bunch of lemons that add a little all pop right, of color. Okay? <laughs> and they've just That's gone in there, <laughs> slapped the little children and stolen the lemons. And guess what? Now the room lacks color. I guess we'll see when when it comes out. But a lot of Disney people, Plus is what still comes out. Disney Plus is still I up still in the air. Like Disney Plus no, is the only actual competitor for Netflix. Yeah. Okay, but HBO it doesn't Max matter is, is because, what it is. But I'll let you know this: HBO is never on Netflix, by the way. So that's not even a factor. Yeah, no. You know what is a factor though? Them coming in and taking Friends okay. and taking The Office and taking these other mainstays. That's yeah. whatever. That's a but different you know, thing. Like, people like me, like I've got that other app for shows I want to watch that are on Netflix. So you yeah. know, I'm good. No, I know, but for the general public, you are one person out of billions of people. So I'm saying it is actually a big deal for Netflix. I could give two shits. Mm-hmm. I'll be choked that Friends. Will, no, not for Friends. I really don't Office. Know for. But once The Office is gone, yeah, I will be choked. For sure, Sorry, but there's no has that you can't Max. <laughs> you can't say that oh this isn't going to be a big deal when they're literally taking some of the reasons that people are watching Netflix. Netflix is like cable; you keep going through shows like you're going through channels until you find one that you like. And guess what? You're going back to the Food Network channel to watch Chopped because guess what? That's what you do most of the time, and you end up going back to watch the same things you watch anyways, even though you're trying to explore new avenues, and you're just like, do I really want to invest my brain power into something new? No, I'm going to watch The Office for the 57th time. Yeah, people find something else to watch. But I feel like for Netflix, it's just like, it's like a stock. Stocks go up and down, but Netflix, it's going to go up no matter what. Because Stranger Things season four it's, comes out, but it's literally going down. That's what I'm saying. Perfect. Yeah, but it'll go back good time down. to buy. I don't good think, time to buy. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> I don't think Stranger Things is going to be. But that's just enough. one show that's like already you already know is going to be a hit for yeah. them. So they're going to have other shows coming out. And so how do know. they? So how does that one show help carry? How do the Office everything and Friends else? carry it though? How Those do you are think the two yeah. biggest shows that carry Netflix? No, there's yes. a lot more that carry Netflix. A lot of people. But I'm saying. So those, hold on, you're saying it's not that you're saying Netflix is basically the Friends and Office now. Well, they're gonna have to have another show take those places. They'll that's never fine. have that one. No. That's those but, are legacy shows that <laughs> yeah. they'll never be able to get rid of. I'm saying that yeah. once those are gone, you know how many people don't give a shit about Stranger Things oh, or a, all the other, other shows that are on there. There's other there's, shows too. There's, there's not, plenty not other shows. I, I understand that, but I'm saying if they go come in and they start taking other things that are affiliated because it's not just those two, mm-hmm. then what's going to happen is people are going to have to go out and subscribe to other things and that's going to take away from Netflix. It's just what happens. Yeah. If if you have a giant box with a bunch of things in it and people take stuff from it, no matter how much the other things are nice, guess what? You're still taking things away from that box. That's what I'm saying. And this box is Netflix and it resides on our TVs. I think Netflix will be fine. Yeah. I, I think so. Netflix will be top either way. Because people like my family are too lazy to fucking even like, cancel <laughs> it and get another one. TBD. I'll probably get Disney Plus. Honestly, it's pretty cheap. For the seventy will it be in for Canada, now. Though? well, for now, whatever. But will it be in Canada? Uh, a I lot of them question. aren't. See, here's the thing: Netflix now has like their different tiers. I have the max one because then you get ultra 4K. You have how many people that can more profiles and how many people can watch at the same time because you do have people that are on my account. Yeah. So that's where that comes into play. Are the other ones going to be as accommodating? I don't think so. So Netflix still has a one up on again their interface, their connectivity. Yes, they'll lose a few, but ultimately, I think people will. It'll still be around. It'll depend how many more they lose in the coming months. Yeah. If they continuously lose people every month, yeah. then guess what? That is a problem. Because if I start cutting your Achilles and just oh, a little bit yeah. and watch you walk down the street, guess what? You're gonna lose a lot of blood. All right, by the next time topic. You get to the blood. I think blood that block. Be fine. <laughs> I think so. It'll too. go back up. Yeah. They'll just have to find something else. Well, they will. Or there just spend a shit ton of money getting those shows back as like a deal, like Spy- like Marvel did with Spider-Man. How did they lose it, though? I feel like wouldn't they have a chance to rebuy it? Just, it's, think of no, it like a... it's not their property. Think of it, borrowing it's a, it. It's a bidding thing. Think of it as like they put in bids and like, oh, theirs didn't win. Yeah. No, what it essentially is this. This is mine. I'm taking it back. It's like, oh, can I have it on the weekends? I don't know. HBO never owned those. It's not, H- it's not HBO Max. The it's was the owned. company that... Is behind HBO. Whoever owns whoever owns Friends and uh, The Office <coughs> was taking it. I don't. Well, know the, the Office exact is actually going minutia. to like a, an actual like streaming service for that channel. I know that. Oh. Yeah. I don't All know I'm saying is that the oh. the places that own this thing, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it's NBC. NBC is, I believe, getting in bed with HBO Max or whatever these other. So streaming again, services. HBO Max got the bid. 
to take that and put it on their service. But it's because it's Wait. NBC show and NBC is with HBO. It's not a bid thing. It's I'm taking what's mine and I'm giving it to these guys. Because I feel like if it because was a bid I'm thing, gonna I'm affiliated with these guys. If it was a bid thing, I don't think Netflix how did we completely it. blow by the Taika Waititi with Thor Force? Like, well, like what are we talking because about? you. You gave me the wrong name, and I went off on Alita Battle Angel. But like, yeah, I didn't and then really you just want you to do that. I just wanted to comment on Taika. Well, I went on a review. I you gave me false am, information. I didn't tell you to Ipso review. Facto, I, mean, I didn't tell you to review Alita or Akira. You know what? I told you to talk about Taika. What, TT? The team's back. That's all that matters. Except for Loki. Or is he? <gasps> not in that timeline. Who cares? Well, not in that timeline. What do you mean no. who cares? You just fucking be dead or be alive. It's like, yeah. go in or go out. Just pick one <laughs> and fucking come into it. But I mean, the whole th- Thor th- thing with Loki is, is was beautiful in Ragnarok. Yeah, it Ragnarok. was. And now he's dead. So stay dead or stay alive, but pick a fucking <clears throat> side and sit there. Wow, you're just mad because DC sucks oh, in really? movies. Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> Dark. I don't know why I said Dark Knight Rises. Rises no. Dark Knight Rises. I've talked to so you were the only person I've heard say it's a terrible film. Listen, if you talk to two people, that doesn't make I've me the only person. To so many people. They all. A lot of people say it's the better one, not better film. They just like it better. Then. Then Dark Knight. They like Dark Knight Rises better I than do. Dark Knight. Yes. You like Dark Knight Rises better than the Dark Knight as an experience. Yeah. You are. Wow, you are not a fan of those movies then the dark knight's a better film it is the dark knight rises though i like more it is a, that the dark knight rises has more holes than swiss cheese motherfucker i love swiss cheese well you must <laughs> like plot holes that don't connect your movies properly i don't think about it i just watch the film yeah that's too bad what for a movie that invites you to think about it and be more see this is this is my issue with answers like that when you like something and it does is thought provoking, you force people to think the way that you think because you're like, no, it's thought provoking. When something sucks, you're going to say, no, I just shut off my brain and I watch it. No, all three of those movies were constructed so you can think about the themes that are going on and care about the fact that they're supposed to connect. Well, guess what? Dark Knight Rises doesn't connect as a movie on its own. It it's It's so flawed in almost everything that it does that... I've watched it seven times and I hate it every single time because I'm like such a missed opportunity. Whereas you go back to the Dark Knight and the Batman Begins, you're like, wow, these things connect properly. They've got way less plot holes because every movie has plot holes, let's be honest. And they're just, they're thought provoking and they invite you to think. And you do think in them. You can't say that, oh, I just shut off my brain and I enjoyed his experience. I don't understand the plot holes. I'll have to look into them. You will have to look into them. I will draw out an entire plot hole map for you. I actually have no idea what you're talking about, though. So I'll have to look into it. Okay, so how does Batman get out of no, that cave and then show up in the middle of Gotham with his well, jacket you on? See him right walking. where Catwoman was. Do you want to see? Oh, my and, God. In Gotham, that's had all the bridges destroyed, completely covered by security. He has no money, no communications, no nothing. And he ends up from the middle of fucking nowhere there just in time when there's a bomb happening in the middle of the fucking city. Three words. What? Because he's Batman. That's a, that. See, that's <laughs> where you fail. Ugh, you sound like a SJW. No, I sound like a BJW. Oh, wait, wait a second. Wait a <laughs> second. Yikes. Okay. Um, Sherlock Holmes 3, do we care that there's a new director? Does so it matter? So that's Robert Downey Jr.? Or? Yes. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. So he's still doing movies, huh? Of course he's still doing movies. Say what? Just Who said he wasn't? I don't know. Just weird. Well, okay. I was going to say there was a interview he did where he made some comments like, I'm not going to be defined by my Iron Man role and stuff like that. Which, oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Robert. You, you're going to be for a while. What movie has, I, don't, I can't name a single movie he's done other than Sherlock Holmes. In the which kind of segues nice into a new director for... Dexter Fletcher. Dexter Fletcher. What, is, what did Dexter Fletcher do? Are you looking it up? You want me to look yeah, it up? I'm looking it up. Dexter. I can't remember. Fletcher. I always want to watch the uh, British series. Should. You should. Yeah. Oh, he did Rocket Man and Bohemian Rhapsody and Eddie oh. the Eagle and... Lo- no, wait. Are those all like biopics? Wait, hold on a second. Are you on the right person? He appeared in Guy Ritchie's... Oh, he appeared in it. He acted in Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. I don't know what he's direct... He did direct Rocket Man. Okay. And a lot of people really like Doc Rocket. That's really new like one, Rocket Man. Um, yeah, he might. He must have been in Eddie the Eagle because I really like Eddie the Eagle. Yeah, interesting. But I'm excited. for Oh that no, to move he directed forward. it, and I really <clears throat> like that movie. See, I'm excited for it to move forward finally because it's been how long? Mm. But they've been waiting for Jude Law's schedule and especially Robert Downey Jr.'s character. Jude Law, that's the other person. Yeah. I completely forgot he was in it. Jude Law's in it. Yeah. 
I don't know who that is. Watson. Uh, Jude yeah. Law. He plays freaking. He was that shitty villain in Captain Marvel. The guy that Captain Marvel bitch slapped oh. by the end of it. The guy that he was training her. Really? Yeah. Mm. It's Jude Law. He's Watson? Yeah. He's Watson. He was in the first two. Yeah. Oh. The first two are great. Well, the second one, I like them. The second one is kind of messy, but I still like them both. All right. Okay. I'm pro- excited for it to move forward. That's my issue matters. with those two movies in particular <clears throat> was that like you learn everything at the very end of the movie. Mm. So like you're watching this thing, trying to go along with the ride, and then at the end of the movie, he's like, aha, but I looked over this way, and there was these eight things that I thought of in my mind, and you're like, yeah, you never alluded to any of that. So there's like, that. you can't actually solve the mystery watching it on your own? No. It's not like the BBC one where you're, well, even the BBC one kind of does that, but he, his thought process is going on as he discovers things, and which is really cool. Yeah. But yes, aside from the last episode, I think, or the last season of Sherlock on BBC, the rest of it is, is So are the episodes, good. like... As a movie, where it's just all one like mystery, or it's is like it... an hour and a half, or like hour and forty five minutes. Yeah, and hour, there's only like minutes. three or four. Is episodes it like a per mystery season. though? Like a yeah. whole like there's one? Or is it like each episode? There's there's a couple. Listen, there's a couple of uh, take it away crimes Bass. that happen in between, but there's the overarching story. Of course, Moriarty's involved as per usual um, as villain. a main villain. Is there another main villain? No, they just have sub villains. Sub villains, but yeah, they have sub bosses. Yeah, and then naturally, the um, what's her name? Irene Adler. There you go. Irene Adler, his love interest. Yeah, his femme fatale. There you go. Good one. Who was exceptional in the BBC show. Yep. That woman was outstanding. Yep. Um, yeah. No. So, but uh, Robert Downey Jr. also set to do Dr. Doolittle, the like uh, classic old version of it, though. Really? Yeah, like I think set in the 20s or mm. 30s, something well, like that. Well, he did do Chaplin. There you go. Um, yeah, I guess... I guess for his comments on I'm not going to be defined by Iron Man, I totally get that. And he's talking about distancing himself from the MCU, you which I totally get that. But it's like you need to give it some time because if you're going to go <laughs> it's on still a, fresh, man. <laughs> yeah. Like you just died on screen like two months, three months ago. Spoiler. Yeah. Sorry. I was going to watch it. Isn't it coming eventually. on DVD soon? July 30th. Oh, oh I thought it was so in di- August. No, sorry. Release. Digital is July 30th. Yep. And then Blu-ray. August 13th mm-hmm. is... So we'll have really good quality streaming. Uh, really good. To like pee off of, perhaps. What? Um, Save the I worry. think the problem with a lot of these actors that get into these roles that kind of define them to get typecast, they try to find work right away. And I get it. Like, you need work mm-hmm. to pay. But I'm pretty sure Robert Downey Jr. is pretty much set well, for life. He made 75 life. million off Endgame. Yeah, and he made... Like so much money off mm-hmm. all the other ones too. Like, and he yeah, will seven, forever make money. And he will forever, yeah, exactly. All that jazz, like exactly. merch. So my guess is that, or my, not my guess. What like, I would say is that set. if most of the actors that were in TV shows that were worried about typecasted or Robert Downey Jr. and stuff like that, mm-hmm. it's like if you give it some time, like fuck off for about five years, you'll find something else. No, no, no. Like go do something else. Then let come back and people were like, oh, yeah, he's back and he's doing something new. If you go into something right away, I think, then it's like, oh, it's just Iron Man doing something else, right? What's well, that happened with a lot of the How I Met Your Mother? Like, I think only two of them actually like kind of broke free and are actually somewhat successful now. Uh, like Neil Kobe. Patrick Harris and Kobe Smulders. Well, even yeah. Neil Patrick Harris, I don't know. If he, what is he doing these Well, days? he just does like... Actually, he's more Broadway, I would say. Yeah, I think he, he does, does plays he does and stuff the like that. series of unfortunate events. Yeah, he's I watched that. mainstream. Did you like it? it? I haven't okay. seen it. Obviously on the on the kid side, but he did a good job as Count Olaf and stuff like that. Completely random, has nothing to do with this. There's a new competition show on Netflix. It's called Blown Away, and it's about people that are doing a blowing glass competition. It's so good. It's like, like there's a Japanese some... thing where they have something in the middle and they blow. No, oh. no, no, no. It's actually <laughs> like the the art of blowing glass, where oh. like they take sand and they break it down and they convert it into glass and they have to make things. It's so good. Oh, it's a competition show. It's a competition show like I really that. Wish uh, they had a Gordon Ramsay show on Netflix. You know what I really wish they would have did? Would they would do mm. is like make cooking shows like they used to. Like if you go back on YouTube and you look up Marco Pierre White back in '88 when mm. Gordon Ramsay was working for him, and you can see a young Gordon Ramsay work for him. Those were such good. See, soap feels the vibe because uh, we watched it together. Um, <laughs> those were great cooking shows. Uh, Gordon Ramsay's Beyond Boiling Point. Those were really good cooking shows, but that was more yeah. of a documentary. I want them to do something like that. Like really, I, really have some raw for myself cooking. not being like, you know more about cooking than I do for wow. sure. But uh, 
Chopped, I think, was a really good one. And it was, clo- it was the closest. Because you had to basically, you were given whatever, make something. I had Go. two exams like that in school. It was yeah. awesome. Master Chef was another good one. But I only liked the Ramsey version. I didn't like the Canadian version. Because, again, they tried to copy the personas of the judges and everything. I'm like, that's why, well, I really hated that. You could yeah. tell 100% the one, uh, the one in the Canadian one. Who was it? The Asian Oh, the um, I forget who he is. I yeah. don't know. I forget. He his tried name, so hard to be the dick, uh, and he might, might very well be in his life. But it's I really have no hard idea. But it seemed like he was trying very it. hard, and that's the problem. Because once you see a show in one way, once you see its counterpart, whether it's another country or it's a different version, you're always going to relate back. I'm like, well, they're just copying them exactly. It's one thing the show's going to copy itself, but. When the judges copy personas of other judges, I have a problem with that. I'm like, well, it's no. like every um, what's it called? Uh, American Idol knockoff where they always had a Simon Cowell. Mm, Basically, yes. yeah. That's a very true statement. Yeah, I posted that one meme because we were watching it. After hey, it's your boy Jay Fair Honey. What's up, man? We we're watching uh, American Idol at Tino's Barbecue for our like old work. Yeah, and we're talking about how like every contestant had to have like some other a tragic backstory mm-hmm. or like be gay well I, well I mean think about if they have like a thousand people going through mm-hmm. they probably just pick the ones that have that it just so happens so to i posted a meme and it was like uh one year on american got talent and don't have a tragic backstory and it's like someone saying get the fuck out <laughs> but no i don't i don't like watching those shows i don't i don't like them welcome to the show chico hello chico welcome to the show if you want to catch the rest of it, you can always uh, listen to us on some publications that I'll be listening later on. Um, <laughs> you can get them off. Yeah. So the Little Mermaid movie is going all over the place. They got Harry Styles for some reason as the prince. Eric, yeah. And then... Javier Bardem. Javier Bardem is Javier? looking to Javier? play... Javier. Javier? Ja- uh, yeah, no. Javier. Yeah, Javier Bardem is looking to play Ariel's father. Yeah. Um, so that's... Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, they are going to the um, And then Melissa McCarthy is to play Ursula, so that's a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, I, she could, she might be able to do... Uh, Melissa McCarthy? Yeah, it could be interesting. I don't know. I don't know if she has like the singing. Okay. Does Ursula do... Yeah, she has a little bit of singing. Yeah, but it's it's very menacing. That's right. Actually, so I think she could pull it off. Yeah. I was watching... Or no, I wasn't watching. We were actually, over. Leslie Jones wouldn't have been a bad... Leslie, oh Leslie Jones would have made a really good one. Ursula. She's have a, she has a very deep, like bombastic voice. Exactly, I, she would have been a really and honestly, good Ursula. Even her face kind of fits. She has like a bulb face for sure. She's got a rounder face. Yeah, rounder face. That's it. Bulb round. <laughs> I just think when I when I've heard Leslie Jones talk, now that you mentioned Ursula, I think she'd have like that voice that if they just added some more editing to it, it would yeah. sound really powerful and super menacing. Yeah, I think she has that. That'd be interesting. Um, anyone care about that? No. It is what so it Bardem is. being Triton doesn't matter. Um, we'll see when the final roll calls happen and they actually say, okay, this is your cast. I'm like, okay. Has Harry Styles been confirmed or is it still in talks? I think that's rumors. I Just think that's all rumors. Ha- okay. I think is everyone. Hal Bailey? Hallie Bailey. Hallie Bailey. So she's the, is she the only official confirmed I one? I think she's the only Ariel that got confirmed. So they still need to, they'll Everyone. need to cast someone. And then the rest are just going to be voices. Hey. Because um, you have the. Well, Sebastian. Sebastian. Yes, thank you. Lobster. Give me a crab. Lobster. Oh. Oh. Hey, the casual moviegoer. What's up, man? Well, well, well. Um, wow. Well, well, well. Look well. what the cat dragged in. Uh, okay, we went through Power Rangers, we went through Little Mermaid, Top Gun, Jane's Do you guys have anything? Oh, so what scene in 13 Reasons Why did they get? Like, oh, the, yeah. I've, I've never seen the 13 Reasons Why. The actual suicide scene. Yeah. They actually show a suicide scene? Yes. Yeah, oh, very shit. Graphic. No, I had no idea. I knew there was a controversy, but I hadn't seen the show, so I didn't want to get it so spoiled. So the thing... You already scrolled past it, if you're looking for I it. I didn't. No, oh, I'm okay. just okay. trying to see if we missed anything. So, He's just like, oh, I don't give a fuck. Ooh, we'll uh-huh. talk about that later. Tell me. If you don't have it already. Oh, okay. Go for it. So, the Stranger... Th- or, sorry. The 13 Reasons Why suicide scene was very graphic, very... I want to say realistic, but I've never seen, seen that, one. so I'm not going to yeah. say it's realistic, but it looked very real. Uh, and it was her sitting in a bathtub and, like, cutting her wrists. Ugh, that, yeah. I get queasy when I... Yeah. yeah. No. So, it was a like, super long, like, sad scene, and they took it out now because people are saying it romanticizes suicide, and I could understand that statement, whatever. Mm. But it's also been, like... Two to three years, right? It's since been, they released it. So, like, what the fuck? Thousands, Wait, thousands they're just of people getting it rid of it now. That's weird. Yeah, it's it dumb. feels like why? Like, 
who stick cares? to your art, man. Yeah, that's what somebody said. Like, if you're gonna like like stick with your content, like I remember they like, stood behind it from the very beginning. Exactly. Because even when the first season came out, mm-hmm. they were worried that yeah, like oh, don't you think your show's gonna actually yeah, like you said, romanticize or mm-hmm. you know the whole suicide scene? Um, no, I think it's doing exactly what it needs to do is show shed a little light on it in yeah. a different way in an extreme form, mind you. Mm-hmm. But uh, I really enjoyed it. But no I, one was talking about it now, yeah. so there's no reason to take it out oh after you like so it, vividly defended it. Oh my god! It, it goes back to our discussion of like, yes, let them talk, but it all comes down to these exact like not to listen and say mm-hmm. like, no, we stand by stand by your art, stand by our uh, producers and directors mm-hmm. and all that jazz, and say no, this this is fine how it is. If you want to take out a scene in that series, Statue take out the scene where they fucking shout the broom up someone's ass. That scene does not need to be in the show. What low happened? Battery. Oh, low battery. battery. Gotta start charging your shit, man. My sister uses this shit and leaves it around. Well, and to be fair, we have seven minutes left. It'll last. Seven I think minutes. It'll last. I hope so. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm a very, I'm a big proponent of stick to your art. We had this discussion last week Pretty about much, people yeah. caving every single time yeah. that someone bitches about something. It's like, listen, man, they're already doing that buck in up. every other. Buck up. <laughs> What was it? Buck up. Buck off. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, I It's already happening in, in schools all over the place. I've been, you know, like it, it's somewhat people need to stick up for themselves and their art. And I think other people will follow. All you just need is that one person. Um, I think there's another season coming out yeah. like this year, though. So, oh, yeah, I've, third, I haven't seen last, it, so I, I can't. The say. second one was interesting how they. The second yeah, season. I know how they built up to a school. I was wondering how they were going to do it Honestly, anyway. Honestly, I know like, this sounds very bad, but they built up to a school shooting for like a year, and, and they happened. didn't do the school shooting. And I know that sounds really fucked up to say you want to see it, but like... <laughs> I, they were leading us yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so to the suicide thing first, and secondly to the, the shooting thing. I am a bigger fan... Aside from the fact that they should stick to their art and stick to what they do and don't take it off. Yeah. When it comes to stuff like that, I would still re- any type of violence. I think violence that you don't see is much more horrific than the one you do see. Mm-hmm. Me personally, because I don't know how your guys' imagination is, but mine can run off. Mm-hmm. So, like, um, Heat is a good example. Um, when when Robert De Niro's character goes to shoot Wayne Grow, like just before he does it, it cuts away and you hear it. Yeah, you don't need to see it. I think that's much more powerful. I think it's a really it's a, it's a much more powerful thing. So for this school shooting thing scene that they're going to do, which is super intense, they could have found maybe something else. Oh, yeah, like, in the, 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 in thing the time is, that's going uh, on, maybe like don't that, they have a fucking... Not that they didn't show it. Less is more. Thank you, Arturo. They uh, they didn't do it. They didn't do it at all. They right. were alluding to the whole thing. They really built it up I, and a I, whole And they probably could have... Actually, they probably would have done a little bit of it where you just would have heard gunshots and you're all like... All you needed to do is a tracking shot, yeah. as shitty as this sounds, of whoever these culprits are Walking towards the school, tracking, 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 opening the door, having the guns up, and then walking through. Did you through. ever watch The Ozark? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or no, seen... not The Ozark. Uh, the O. No, I haven't seen The O. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's I it. haven't seen that either. Okay. I haven't seen any three At the of the end of The O, they have a scene like that in the first season yeah. where there's a guy that comes. Again, it's not alluded to in any way, shape, or form of the thing other than like something's ha- about to happen. They don't know what mm-hmm. this kid's running, walking across the school field, just picking off kids and you don't see everything. You just see the bodies flying and stuff like that. Yeah. So, even, even then though, like again, like, like I mentioned tracking shot into the school and then all, mm-hmm. a tracking shot across the school. And yeah. all you do is you hear screams and stuff like that. But even then you don't need that. The second they walk into the school, you can cut to black and then that's it. And then open up the next episode well, the or next season with I a saw report. American Horror Story. This is just the first season. They had a school shooting thing too. Mm-hmm. But you just kind of saw the students underneath the desk and mm-hmm. the guy walking. You saw his feet and just like you heard yeah. the shots. That's extremely powerful. It was a, it was actually a very. That is a very powerful. Scene, yeah, yeah that, that is that for me is powerful storytelling and, and creating tense moments mm-hmm. for sure. Uh, should we get to the Emmys? Oh, I didn't think you were going to get there. Oh, I'm I'm going there. I just may not bring the people on the live show with us, but everybody else listening <clears throat> oh, yeah, is coming true. on for the ride. That's true. That's true. That's true. Emmy nominations 2019 announced. This is I'm taking this from IGN. I'm pretty sure it's the same everywhere else. Yeah. I love how they say thanks to the success of Game of Thrones, <laughs> uh, Chernobyl, and other hits like Barry and Veep. HBO picked up the most Emmy nominations this year for a network. With 137, Jesus, Netflix has the second most nominations for a network with 117, and NBC comes in a distant third with 50, 
eight. No, man. Okay. Quick, quick run through. Outstanding drama, Better Call Saul, Bodyguard, love Bodyguard. So good. It was good. Game of Thrones, <laughs> Killing Eve, Ozark, excellent. Posse, Succession, This Is Us, haven't seen them. Better Call Saul is also exceptional. Outstanding comedy series, Barry Fleabag, Russian Doll, Russian Doll is also exceptional. Mm-hmm. Shit's Creek, haven't seen it, but heard the good things. The Good Place is very good. The Marvelous, Mrs. Maisel, haven't seen, and Veep. Um, outstanding limited series, Chernobyl Escape, at Danamora, Fossey Sharp Objects, When They See Us. Bye. Bye. Uh, not to the people that are listening, just the live show. 29 viewers. Hey. Uh, outstanding lead actor, Bob <coughs> Odenkirk. Better call Saul, Kit Harrington. Do you want to do any predictions, by the way, before you start going too far? Like, are we just, you're just rambling them off? Or are we going to. Uh, I don't even know. I've never done these very good. Let's say outstanding drama series. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to say. I don't even know how to, like, even guess. I'm going to say that outstanding drama series, I'm hoping it goes to Bodyguard. That's me. What's the other one? Better call Saul, Game of Thrones, Killing Thrones Eve, Ozark, yeah, Posse. Game of Thrones it lot. better not. It was a terrible season. It doesn't matter. It's. Yeah, that's the problem about yeah. these things. Yeah, uh, yeah. Odd, outstanding comedy series. Has anybody seen Barry Fleabag, Schitt's Creek? I've, I don't think I've seen any of those. I've heard Barry is I've heard very good. Creek. I've heard Barry and, is very good. And uh, honestly, well. what's the other one? Russian Doll is a one good place. Marvelous Miss Maisel, Schitt's Creek, Fleabag, and Veep. That's I haven't all... seen Veep, but I really want to. Honestly? It's going to be second, honestly. Barry, you can only Barry... be honest so much. <laughs> Barry or Veep might win it. Veep has a lot of. Has a I think because of Julia Louis Dreyfus's yeah. uh, personal life, but they've actually done be... very well in general. Regardless. She's raked in the Emmys every single year. Exactly. She that I've heard nothing but amazing but things Barry about that show. A, I'm surprised it's even another comedy. To be honest, I thought it was more like a drama, dark comedy, dark comedy. I guess dark comedy. There you go. Yeah. Russian so, Doll, I enjoyed. I thought it was really sweet. I don't think it'll beat out Barrier Veep are my top ones. Thrones for drama for sure. Uh, lead actor Bob Odenkirk, Kate Harrington, Jason Bateman, Billy Porter. Sterling K. Brown and Milo Ventimiglia. They might get it to Milo because of This Is or Us. This Is Us. Yeah. I hope Bob Kit, Odenkirk gets Kit, it. See, that's the thing. How the fuck is I Kit think, Harrington nominated? They should have given it to, like, yeah. uh, Tyrion. Again, I guess. Uh, he would, well, he's a lead. He's a lead. Yeah, Whereas, uh, what's his name? Isn't, Peter Dinklage isn't, is just supporting. Oh, I thought he was a lead. Technically, he's a supporting, so he might, he's a nominated. But he's had the supporting. most screen time in the entire show. I know that, but he's still a supporting character. It happens. You can chime in on any of these. I don't know a lot of these shows. Okay. You know, Lead Thrones. actress. Well, yeah, but like, that's I, I, I think it'll go to Kit Harrington, honestly. Lead actress. If Amelia Clark, if they only did it based on Amelia Clark's um, speech at the beginning of the last episode, I'd be like, okay, I get that because that, she did really good there. The rest of it, and and I I felt she did much better this season, and they gave her more stuff. I just. Yeah, whatever. I didn't care for her character in general. I'm going to say Game of Thrones is going to win a lot of these. Yeah, really. I think so. Sandra O oh is killing Eve, Laura Linney, Ozark, Mandy Moore, This Is Us, Jody Corner, Viola oh. Davis, How to Get Away with Murder, Ooh. Haven't Seen It, Robin White, Wright, House of Cards, Didn't Care for It. Honestly, I think... Uh, That's your third, honestly. Uh, what do you, what do you want to say? Truly. No, I don't know. Truly. Or just nothing. I think this. All right, whatever, man. But where's the trying Just to trying to give a little bit more, damn it, rather he's than you. No, you to, did, but he's trying to get the fifteen after word essay paper. after three times. It's like you're naming off every person in your class before you start your speech to get up to the right number. I did that once, and I forgot, I skipped one girl to be perfectly like candid. Her. Oh my god, <laughs> to be perfectly <laughs> candid. <laughs> um, Peter Dinklage is for supporting actor. Yeah, he's gonna win it. Also, Jonathan Banks, Giancarlo Esposito. I love that dude. Is Alfie he Allen. He's from Better Call Saul at Breaking oh, Bad. Nah, he didn't have fun. I would, I could see him winning. Did He's Better Call Saul even have a new season like recently? I but Game of, I'm so by, I have no idea. What I don't watch on. it. I just usually Better hear Call about Saul's it. really. Have you seen it's Breaking very Bad? good. No, you should yeah, watch. You should I watch. can't. I've tried three times. That's nice. cannot get past oh, the first episode. You are. You give yeah. it three episodes. I've tried to get past the first one three How, different times. Then you give it three. Like actually, like forcing myself to watch it. I, I and just sitting there. You and, and your you and your fucking uncle, man. You guys. I can't watch it. Can't watch you can. Either. You're just. You know. He said he's tried so many times. It's like it kicks off very well. There's literally so. a trailer barreling down the desert with underwear flying everywhere, and he's got a gun pointing. And that's how it opens up. Mm, all right. 
I'm saying it's a bad are, show. I'm saying I can't watch it. No, you can't judge if it's a bad show because you haven't watched it. I'm not saying it's a bad show though. You can't. You, you wouldn't be able to anyways, even if you did. Yeah, but I'm not saying it. I'm not right, saying I'm hating on it or praising. Um, it. so supporting actor, I, I'm thinking that's going to be either between Nikolai Costa Walder and Peter Dinklage. That's my guess. Yeah. Aren't those like aren't there only four people? No, there's Jonathan Banks, Giancarlo Esposito, Alfie Allen. He's another one in Game of Thrones. Nikolai, Peter, Michael oh, Kelly. From, in there too. That's what I literally just said. Oh, yeah. cool, cool. So um, Michael Kelly, House of Cards, and Chris Sullivan, This Is Us. So my guess is they're probably going to give it to Peter Dinklage again. Or I hope they give it to Giancarlo or Jonathan Banks. Hmm. Uh, supporting actress, Gwendolyn Christie. Lena Headley, who didn't really get to do Hedy, sorry, who didn't get to do fuck all this season. Sophie Turner, who I think should get it. Maisie Williams, Fiona Shaw, and Julia Garner. Most of these are Game of Thrones. Yeah. There's literally four. With I would females. say Sophie Turner probably get. She got the most to be able to talk and build her uh, yeah. character. A I just bit. think she was just the better actress. Yeah, actor. I I think she probably was the best performer out of all of them. That's yeah. my. That's what I think. Uh, lead actor, Bill Hader and Barry, Don Cheadle, Black Monday, Anthony Anderson, Blackish, Eugene Levy, Schitt's Creek, Ted Danson, The Good Place, Michael Douglas, The Kaminsky Method. Give it to my boy Ted Danson because I haven't seen any of these Ooh. other shows. No? I have no idea. You? Who's the first? Quick, quick. Bill Hader. Is Schitt's Creek I think a Bill Hader or a TV win show? TV show. It's on Netflix. Yeah. Eugene okay. Levy. You got nothing? Barry. Barry. Uh, lead actress, Christina Applegate, Dead to Me, Phoebe, I haven't seen that. Natasha Leone. I'd give it to her for Russian Doll. Catherine O'Hara, Schitt's Creek. Mm. Uh, Rachel Brosnahan, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Julia Maybe. might win that. I, I'm, I'm hoping she gets it again. Yeah. Uh, what do we have? Supporting actor, sure. Supporting actress, great. I'm, I'm trying to find if there's anything else here. There's a lot of fucking shit here. <laughs> there's a lot of like... Sh- do they um, go technical? I mean, outstanding music, they television movie. I was reading the last night a lot. Holy shit. Let's just go with that. Like Maybe. the main one is that people actually give a fuck Yeah, I, I think we covered the... Well... <coughs> Excuse me. Are you getting any technical stuff? We could do that for another time. There's literally nothing else. Outstanding animated program. Oh, maybe you'll get Big Mouth, Bob's Burgers, BoJack Horseman, come along with me and the Simpsons. <laughs> the Simpsons. <laughs> I'm gonna, I don't know why. Big they, Mouth is I probably going to win. No, I think the Simpsons time. is like this just legacy yeah. thing. It's like Meryl Streep at the Oscars. You always nominate Meryl Streep. Adventure Time. I don't know why. Who fucking calls it come along with me? I don't know. Like no one will know what you're talking about. It's Adventure Time. People. Oh, I've heard of that. Uh, no, Big Mouth is going to win that one. No, Big Mouth. You don't think so? Well, a lot of people didn't like Big Mouth. I, I liked it. I, I love it. I think, this I think title, there's a lot of people that like it. No, but a lot of people did not. Like, <laughs> I could not watch that on too my much. TV. <laughs> Maybe I'm a perv and I'm a little fucked up, but why the hell would Sesame Street have a special called When You Wish Upon a Pickle? It's called puberty. Yeah. Kids go through it too. That's so fucked up. Why would you call it that? It's only sexual if you make it sexual. Yeah. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm probably just, just me because I'm pre-vert. fucked up. Yeah. Wait, was that perv, nominated? I'm yeah, it's nominated. Fuck nominated Sesame Street for an Academy Outstanding Award. Children's Program, and it's for an Emmy, not an Academy Award. We weren't talking Academy Awards here. That's wait, wait a second. We're on the same one, then, right? Because <laughs> how would Big Mouth be a children program? It's not a children. It's I said not, animated. It's not yeah. animated. Okay. <laughs> no. I'd like Adventure Time to win. That was the series finale, and I didn't watch it, but like, I don't know. Uh, I, I want to. Well okay, we're gonna save the best for last, I guess. All right. This is gonna be part and parcel. Okay. Um, should I, I don't know which one to start with? So to clear things up, I think Lashana Taylor is that her name? I don't know. Who the new Double O Seven. Oh, her, Lashana. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So she was in Captain Marvel. Yes. Um, she was the. She did was we not talk about this last week, or did we talk about it off the show? I don't recall talking about. I don't. It. I, I think we talked about it off the show. Okay. okay. I don't know what you're talking about. She is not a Jane Bond. She is going to no. be taking up the moniker of Double O Seven. Mm-hmm. However, I understand the I, I uh, there's two things when James Bond retires, which is essentially what I think Bond 25 is going to be mm-hmm. that 007 moniker that the, his title there is going to be out in the distance. So she's just going to be the new 007 under a new name. She's not going to be a Jane Bond, but I can see how people are making that yeah. connection forever. Yeah. 007 James Bond. Done. Yeah, exactly. So that kind of takes away that theory that James Bond and 007 come part and parcel. It's just been that way. No, stories. no, but what I mean is yeah. that because there's like there was a there was a theory, and it's again probably not true, but I always like yeah. this one is that all the James Bonds are different people, but once you become 007, you are James Bond. 
Yeah, I remember we were talking about that, too. That's how it ties everything. That's why there's so many other people, which I thought, that's a great idea, because you're a spy agency. But remember that Casino Royale with the Daniel Craig basically, call it retconning, and it's it's the only Bond that has a continuing story. No, I know that. An overarching star. So that one will be interesting. They'll never make a woman Bond. Well, they are, though. Well, no, not James Bond, but she is going to be an MI6 agent. Okay. Okay. Well, this should be the focus of the next one. She is. She is. That's what. The, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, so they're gonna. The title is gonna be. This is gonna be the new Bond, but her name is not Bond. This is just gonna be the new 007, yeah. right? So the new 007 is Lashana Taylor, which kind of is shitty because I kind of wanted Idris Elba to be the new 007 and James Bond based on that because I think he'd be mm-hmm. super badass. Mm-hmm. Um. So Let's see. I want to be careful with this mm-hmm. because this is gonna go into my other comment or the other thing that. I think Scarlett Johansson deserves huge props for her comments on, I can play whoever the, essentially not saying this, but I'm going to say this for her. Mm -hmm. She can play whoever the fuck she wants because she's had a lot of backlash. The art form is acting. True. You are pretending to be things. This is why I don't subscribe to the fact that you have to be gay to play a gay person. You don't have to be transgender to play a transgender person. I think you need to be a good performer and a good actor because guess what? The general public is not going to fucking pay to go see something just because of that. Yeah. If you're if you're um, if you're gay or lesbian or transgender or any any of if you identify in any of those things and you're a good performer. I think you can play whoever the fuck you want to. Mm-hmm. So I think Scarlett Johansson is definitely in the right for saying I can play a tree if I want to. That was I'm paraphrasing here. Yeah. And all of this stuff, which is why when I heard Lashana Taylor is going to be 007, I also did not give a shit. I'm at the point where I just don't give a shit anymore because <laughs> they're just going to do it. There was, however, and this may sound really bad, but it was a meme. I think I posted the meme. Did you post it was with it Christian Bale? Co- yep. Oh my lord! I didn't even see who posted it. I just saw it. and I thought it was hilarious. So it's like, what was it? It's a uh, Hollywood uh, iconic white character exists in Hollywood. Does it come in black? And it's Christian Bale when he turns to Lucius Fox and says, "Does the does the Rambler or whatever it's yeah, called yeah, yeah, yeah. come in black? Wow. The Tumbler come in black?" But I mean, like, that's fine. You can you can play 007 or whatever, right? Yeah. Like, and and but. Don't shit on Scarlett Johansson for playing these other characters either. Like, well, did she? Well, she played uh, Ghost in the Shell. Oh, and did she bitch? Her she, oh yeah, no, oh. no, no, no one bitched anybody out. Oh. She said this yeah. to yeah. publication. She's, I think, she's speaking out against the political correctness that's going on in Hollywood. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm saying good for her because it is an art form. It doesn't matter. Well, we yeah. said this before. I remember, it's if there was a person, uh, a person of that descent that was good enough to be that role. They would have picked them. Yeah. But it's also, it's a business, as you just stated, where they're not going to pick someone just, you know, for pity points. Mm. Or that sounds bad, but it's just like, they're not going to pick a transgender person just no, to it's be not, It's not virtue signaling points. They're not going to yeah. pick them just to be like, oh, hey, we picked yeah. one. Because no one's going to go money. see that movie. Exactly. They're going to go see, a- and not only that, it might change now where the idea of the actor bringing in box office numbers is going to, is slowly starting to get phased out, but it's not there yet. No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and everyone needs to stop battering down the doors and wanting to make things happen right now. Like things happen as they happen. When you batter down the doors, you get collapse of civilizations. Yeah. It's just look at your history books. And stealing people's lamps. And yes. s- and stealing people's fucking lamps. In a lamps. Kool-Aid man fashion, you just break in the wall. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, because guess what? Spoiler alert. Scarlett Johansson is not Russian. She's not a spy. She's what not? the fuck? Right? She's not Black Widow? No. Wait, she, she shouldn't die? She shouldn't get thrown off the cliff? Hey. I'm just saying. What the fuck? Didn't happen. It's make believe. Are you telling me the Avengers are not real? I'm, I think I am. Son of a bitch. I think I'm going on to say this that like the WWE Avengers WWE are not, not real. real. Yeah, the biggest yeah. shock since then. And and I think I think that like who was it? Matthew McConaughey did not have AIDS in Dallas Buyers Club. How dare he? How dare he be clean? No, but, <laughs> but like for me, it's if you're gonna make the argument for one thing, then I can make and everybody can make the equal argument for everything else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, don't. Th- this is why I'm. I, I was both. Con- I was conflicted when I first saw that she was going to be the new 007. But then I'm like, well, no. Like, I'm not. She can play whoever the fuck she wants. I don't give a shit. I just think for us, the persona 007 has been etched mm-hmm. forever. Which is the ar- this, yeah, which is the argument yeah. for Scarlett Johansson playing Ghost of the Shell for the pe- Ghost in the Shell that we're 
fans of the uh, who the, the, thing. F- the all three of them like who, no one knows what Ghost in the Shell is yeah, okay really like is that supposed to be it's like not a anime? Dragon Ball anime, anime. Like, so they wanted an it, Asian no it's actor? a it's a big one man. So they, want, yeah, they wanted an Asian big. actress to do that of course they would okay I mean even for me I'm like but I would too what, what is what, like, Ghost in the Shell compared to the James Bond anthology that that's a cultural created? thing. That's different. That's what I'm saying. Because for Western culture, James yeah. Bond's a big deal. For Eastern culture, no one know like some people may not even know who James Bond is. Yeah. They might. I don't know. They do. You well, gotta you gotta look at it. You gotta look at it on That's a global a scale. Because for Western, as I just said, my, I don't know if Ghost in the Shell is a big anime, yeah. but Western, like there's only like five that are the top tier. Dra- like Dragon Ball, One Piece, Naruto, Pokemon, and Attack on Titans getting there, but just whatever. But I guess I don't know. Western is different, but it's a Western movie. Yeah. So to that point. It's a fair statement. Like, no well, and, and that's where it's like, again, I just applaud her for actually standing up. Like, I'm not yeah. saying like I, you no. don't have to agree with what she said. I'm just glad that she's one of the few people that's actually like, no, like, fuck you guys. Like, I'm working here. Yeah. I, I'm an actor. My life is make believe. That's what it is. I'm not Russian. I'm not a spy. And I did one on TV for 10 years or movies for 10 years. You know what I mean? Robert Downey Jr. is not a billionaire genius well, playboy he's, philanthropist he's but he's pretty fucking yeah. close uh, he just he doesn't have an iron man suit that he that could fly that's not functional yet. Yeah, not yet. okay um there. chris evans is not a fucking 105 year old man or whatever the fuck wasn't he 130 in endgame he was close uh, no 105 yeah, close. 110 whatever so the argument sounds ridiculous when you start going into those territories but that's because the argument is ridiculous from the get and that's mm-hmm. why I think I'm just more applauding her, and I don't give a shit who plays 007, because as far as I'm concerned, like, they've done James Bond for so long, it's just a novelty at this point. Yeah, like, you know, go ahead, try something new, who cares? Like, yeah, and I mean... Like, what's the worst that's going to happen? Well, my like, thing honestly. my thing is, like, it's going to be interesting to see how far this goes. Again, it's... I don't know if the argument would be the same if Lashana Taylor was playing a Ghost in the Shell remake. Or if that's a fair stat, that's a good one. Though. Like, what would if people Sa- say to that? Or if yeah. Sandra O oh was going to be James Bond, or if like Aziz Ansari was going to be the next Captain America. <laughs> like, I don't give a shit. I'll like I'll watch it, but I'm just saying like the conversation is not going to be the same. See, that's odd. Though. I don't think that would work with Captain America. Like, I'm just thinking about this like logically. Yeah. In World War Two, for a man like. That's just a weird thing. No. no, I get it. But the well, I mean, there's that'd be a, there's, be a lot there's of another, like, there's another underlying issue where there's people completely discounting history in general exactly, exactly. just to support their own realistic. You think like if they could pull it off, yeah, good for them. But that'd be very hard to pull off in an actual like okay. I'm, again, no. Yeah, but I'm just saying everything's from established. Me, so, yeah, you know. And I know in the past, if you go back and listen to some of these episodes, yeah, I got super hyper pissed at a lot of these casting choices because for me, it's like, well, no, like the original source is there. Yep. Because my thing is like, why are you going to go out and change everything? And but if it goes the other way, then you guys are going to go up in arms and start screaming about, I don't know, fucking white supremacists in Hollywood and the patriarchy and bullshit like that. It's like, and I don't even know if we fit in as Greeks and you're a Greek Italian. Like I've mentioned, I've I'm also trying to figure this out. I'm like, where the fuck? We're not a race. We're we're we're, we're not white. We're we're not we're a group of peoples. Yeah, but we're not. Greeks aren't a race. It would be it would be discrimination if anything happened against us. Let's say, right? Um, I don't think it'd be racism per se. So I don't even know where we fucking fall into but this. One thing I want to add for the characters. Uh, someone said this online, and it was actually a very good point. It was stop changing people's sexuality and race, like other like old characters. Like mm-hmm. this was because someone wanted Spider Man to be gay, and I said, don't change it. Just make a new character. Yeah. Which you could do because Marvel is is in a position where they could do whatever the fuck they want. They could pull through so many new things. Yeah, yeah. do it, but don't change people just for the sake of like. Because just at the I end think of it makes day, it worse if you if it you looks just like it's tack like, it on. It looks like it's for money. It looks like you're doing it just yeah. to do it. Yeah, it, like, it's it's disingenuous. Mm-hmm. The act itself, just like the Gillette commercial, which I will bitch about to my dying days. It's a disingenuous move to like why if I was a gay person or if I was transgender, why do I just want my identity or what or, or any of whatever I see myself as being just slapped on like a sticker over a poster, I would much rather see my own character. Like, like the one I really applaud. Sorry, you can finish. No, no, no. That's the one I really applaud because I hated how they turned Penguin gay in Gotham because it felt very forced. Mm-hmm. But when Rosa turned gay in Brooklyn Nine Nine, it's like okay, that Bisexual. doesn't take away from the character. Oh yeah, bisexual. It doesn't take away from the character. It doesn't like take away from the show. It was just a thing that happened, and it kind of yeah. makes sense. Like. 
Good on See, you. And we talked about this. I didn't mind. Uh, I didn't mind the penguin uh, being gay in Gotham, and the reason is because. I didn't feel that it took away from his character. Yeah, I don't think so. Either. I didn't. I also didn't it just felt feel really weird. That was. A, it just felt weird. Well, it's because you've never known the penguin yeah. to have any sexual orientation whatsoever. Yeah. For all you know, like he, his affection comes from the deep friendship. Right. I so do want to. He has no connection with though, anyone, so. but he had no connection with anyone but his own mother at the end of the day. And then he found a friend in and Riddler's kindred character. spirit through through yeah. the Riddler for sure. Yeah. And I mean, I don't know. I just. I guess the way that they, for me, it felt natural. So for me, it wasn't a surprise because honestly, I had no idea what sexual orientation the Riddler or Bat or Penguin were. Most of those guys, I don't even know, right? Because if if they come out tomorrow and they say, aside from Joker, because of the Joker and Harley Quinn relationship, like there's very few villains when you look at it and you're like, I don't actually know what where, which way you're leaning, right? I do want to rewatch it though because I want to finish the series, but I mm. forgot what happened. So maybe yeah. I will like it better the second watch through. So yeah, maybe. I mean, that's it. Uh, anyways, yeah, like that was the that was just I was just happy that she spoke out about something, and again, the Lashana Taylor well, actually, thing kind like, of yeah, felt... like fighting back instead of just kind of taking it. Like I don't want to like call out Kevin Hart, but he kind of was just quiet at the Oscars and just kind of like left it behind, which is yeah. that was a fair move, honestly. Like that was a decent move to do, but like, well, but the same token, he was on every talk show as soon as that happened, mm-hmm. and he got his word out what he'd said. He's, he's again, he just kept repeating himself. I've already apologized for this shit. I don't need to say anything more. Mm-hmm. You guys do what you got to do. And in essence, he said, yeah, the Academy did me dirty. And it's just it's just thrown him off. I don't care if they call me right now. I'm never doing it again. And the Academy said and, and, and bullshit thing, at this point. For anyways. him, it was such a goal, too. And he wanted it so bad at the start. And then they ruined it. He's like, I'm done. Thanks. That's an integrity move, though. The 100%. fact that he didn't do it just because he wanted to do it. And he, yeah. like, took a stand against it. Well, it was tainted That's, at that point. right? For sure it was. But, I mean, when you look at the Oscars, you know, like, like most of the people that are sent these for your considerations don't even watch the movies. Probably not. They're sent them. They don't watch them, and then well, they just friend. vote for who they feel will win. And it's such a, it's it's not even a fair representation of anything. Like they just, it's it's a total. It's it's just when I've le- the more I've learned about the Oscars, the more I've learned that it has, it's not even a race thing. It's just who's buddy buddies behind the scenes. That's it. Because most of the people don't even watch the movies. It's like a popularity contest. Yeah, exactly. Anything else? No, I'm, um. Just that one snippet that uh, Avengers Endgame is inching oh, closer and closer. I think they're five million now. That I just saw five recently. Yeah, the only thing I saw was like under eight. Everybody million. rush like, to the theater. Basically, I want it to happen. I kind of really. I want it to happen by one dollar. Yeah, I want it for the end of time to show that <laughs> Avengers Endgame beat them out by one dollar. Amazing. I think that would just be hilarious. But well, then you have all those, you know, people. Oh well, you know. I love seeing it because I read in the comments too, and somebody got like this story, like thirty comment thread. It's like, yeah, well, you know, Avatar never had to re-release it, like earn number one spot. Yes, it did. Just 30, 30 comments. Yeah, it did, dumbass. <laughs> like, in in December, yeah, of all a lot. Like, a lot. I think a lot of times it like got re-released. My only concern is I think Spider Man Far From Home might have done better if it didn't compete against its own parent company. Even though every single movie now is owned by Disney, so really, what am I to say? Oh, yeah, no. Well, it wasn't it competing with Toy Story too? Toy Story, Four Lion well, King, or... now that's coming out. Spider Man, Aladdin, Aladdin thing is done. No, I, no, I know, but at that time when they were releasing well, it, like it May, Aladdin like, was still out in movies, wasn't well, it? Maybe, but I feel like that would be like kind of like it's dying days, yeah. where it wouldn't mm-hmm. actually matter. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. That's I it. Spider Man again, though. Yeah, I want to see Spider Man in general and John Wick three, and I'm You're so, so behind. Well, you can see John Wick. <laughs> you can see John Wick whenever you want now. <laughs> I'm gonna go buy How? the DVD. <laughs> I don't know. You just, just be smart about it. You can yeah. Tell it me more. Tell me more. Yeah. Um, My FBI agent's now just like yeah. zooming in. He's just like turning up the volume. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Okay. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Um, all right. Meow. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in on another episode of The F Word, where there are a million, billion voices out there, and we're just happy that you came to ours, whether you're listening on Anchor, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, CastBox, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Podbean, Radio Public, and YouTube. Thank you very much. Um, and again, thank you once again for the to the Connexus for being a sponsor of the Saskatchewan Podcast Network. Um, if you do get a chance to go over to www.saskpodcastnetwork.ca, uh, 
there's like 30 podcasts on there and there's a lot of people starting out. There's a lot of people have been doing it for longer than we have all sorts of voices, as I mentioned before. So they're it's definitely worth just listening because you'll, you'll find, you'll find kindred spirits anywhere you look for them. I guess it's the nicest way I can put it. Um, yeah, that's it. Do we have anything else? Oh, you can follow me on, on Twitter at the F word G. You can email us at the F word podcast at gmail.com. Make sure you're following the lazy Canadian with dots in between each word on Instagram. You can follow the F word podcast on Instagram and Facebook. Um, the F word um, podcast podcast. No, I think it's just the F word. I don't think so. It's just the F word. Is it? Yep. Oh, did you change Vindication? it? Indication. No, because even the logo just has the F word. But anyways, we is just it, appreciate it. No, I think the username is actually the F-Word Podcast. Well, I know that's coming up only as the F-Word. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it wouldn't be hard to find. Yeah, probably not. That's all the fun stuff we have for you this week. Thanks again. I'm G. It's your boy. Skinny penis. Well, it's vast. You know, fuck. <laughs> We're out. <laughs>